okay so in the previous video i talked about how we can use dynamic values inside gsx so let's see how we can use them as we are building a blog application so let's say i want to show a blog title and one way to do it is to hard code the blog title into gsx like adding it inside h2 tab right is awesome like this if i save it it will print just fine but this is not a better way because we are not going to print all the titles like this instead we can use javascript values and before we return this markup we can add all the javascript code in here so let's add a variable uh, title and give it a value of react is awesome okay and the way we can use that we can use brackets here and add the variable name and it will print the same value as it is so this way we can add dynamic values inside gsx and basically what happens is react checks this variable and uh, see if it, it has a value then it will just print the same value and we can also use other data types as well like uh, let's say this block has comments and uh, it has a number value we can also print that let's use the comments first comments like this okay so now it's showing 20 comments so it doesn't matter if you are uh, printing a number or a string in the end react will uh, convert all the data types to a string and then it will print it on the page so uh, but there are other types that we can't just simply print here like uh, let's use a object value person it has a name say age of 26 now let's see what happens when uh, we try to use this inside gsx so let's use person now it gives us an error because we can't really use uh, an object directly inside gsx we can we can use the values inside this object but we can't use object so let's comment this out uh, we can use the other data types like string numbers and arrays but we can't use objects okay so there are other ways to use the dynamic values inside gsx like we can use them directly inside the brackets and they will be uh, evaluated and then printed on the page as well so let's say i add a value of 100 here so this will be printed as it is but if i add a plus 20 to it it will then be evaluated first and then it will be converted to a string and then it will be shown on the page so likely we can also use uh, javascript methods like a random method and it will print the random value uh, let's use a paragraph tag around this like this and let's put this random value inside a paragraph tag okay so that's how they are evaluated and then printed on the page now let's see another example where i want to have a link inside my application and that link will open a facebook page so href of www.facebook.com and it will say facebook now this link will work fine if you click on it it will take you to the facebook but uh, what I want to show you is that you can use dynamic link here. So let's add a link value here and add it at the Facebook link. And then we can add this uh, property value to the link that we just created. Now this link will uh, work normally as it should be. Let's inspect it. Uh, you will see the value here, but instead of using the hard coded value, we are using dynamic value. Okay, so this is how we can use dynamic values inside GSX. At this point, I know all of these don't make much sense, but when we work on a project, these things are very useful. For example, in our case, as we are building a, a blog application, so when we want to display a list of blogs, we can add a URL property to each blog and then dynamically place that link inside these anchor tags. And that's where these dynamic values are very important. Okay, so see you in the next video.